Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 15th, 16th, and 17th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes, I'm using my Radley Valentine deck for the main reading. This is going to be my Angel Tarot cards. I will pull one from my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards, and of course, I will pull one from my Emily Anderson crystal deck. Now, that will be for the main reading, which this is the introduction. So the introduction, we're going to use the Weight Rider, original um, traditional tarot cards, and we're going to use Colette Baron Reed, one day I'll remember her name, the Good Tarot. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading and may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Couple of th oh, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job, just deliver the message. We are coming to a full moon, so a couple of things I want to kind of mention. So we do have um, Neptune and Jupiter are in Pisces right now. And, you know, they've been, they've been in Pisces for a little bit of time, so that's not, that's not the big thing. But they were on the 12th, very close. They're conjuncted together. And so this is considered on the 12th one of the luckiest days. We will see what we will see. Um, we also have Venus that's in Pisces. That went in April 5th. And then we have Mars. Mars is coming into Pisces also April 15th. So we have a lot of the Pisces influence going on, um, you know, the dreamy qualities, but also the very spiritual and also the very um, psychic energies, too. Now, we've all had a lot of very strong stuff going because there's solar storms. There's lots of things going on. I'm hoping, I'm hoping everything I'm reading, but it's, it all depends on, too, what am I sensing? This, I, you know, so what I'm, what I'm reading is that this should be a very lucky time, a very positive time for everyone. I feel like we're just closer and closer to whatever that breakthrough is, hoping that it's sooner than later, because the, like I said, the energies are really strong around us. And the people, you know, and I will tell you, people that have been watching me, you know, we have been, you know, developing, we have been ascending, we have been creating a more spiritual atmosphere for ourselves and for others around us, or we've been protecting our energies. Well, we do have, you know, so it's kind, you know, it's kind of like our nerve endings, though, are a little bit on the surface. And when we are around the people that maybe aren't ascending as much or aren't working, you know, working to know more about this, they just kind of irritate us a little bit more. Now, there will be a full moon on Saturday, and that will be in Libra season. And that will be 2.54 p.m. There is a lot of balancing with Libra energy. Uh, you know, Libras want balance. Now, I will tell you, they have not had, I, you know, okay, maybe, maybe my Libras, if you have been having a very balanced time since your um, astrological season, uh, wonderful, wonderful. I just feel like my Libras, you've just been out of balance for a long time. I'm feeling, and I'm hoping, and I'm praying that this full moon helps to restore some of that balance. Now, when it's restoring balance, I'm not saying you're going back to an old way. I'm just saying that your new way just feels a little more comfortable. I do feel that way for a lot of us. Um, if you have a lot of air energy in you, in your natal sign, and remember, your natal sign, um, easy way to look that up. You go online, and there's lots of engines that can help you figure that out. And then, you know, take a look. What is really, you know, look at your rising, your ascending, your Venus, your moon, your Mars, your Jupiter even, okay? And, you know, and see how that all relates for you. But again, Libra full moon, there is, this is kind of a very possibly positive energy, okay? So this card already fell out. Let's go ahead and shuffle a few more times and see what we have. Again, this is just the introduction. This is more a universal, worldly, global look of what's going on. And I will put in um, the description, the timestamp when this is all done. Okay, let's see what we've got here for everyone for this introduction. Here we go. First card. All right, so this is looking back at better times. Now, this one is reversed. I read reverse cards as having a stronger energy. 
This is the six of uh, six of cups. Cups is our water energy. It's our Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, it's very fluid, very emotional. We do have a lot of that Pisces energy going on right now, even though we have the air energy of the full moon. And again, full moons. If you've been following me, you know what, that I'm going to say. It's the time to release relinquish and request. You can go three days before, three days after to do this. I like writing things down. I like putting it on my refrigerator. Uh, if I'm going to burn them to make them a little stronger energy, I like to keep a copy for my refrigerator, okay? But release what's holding you back, relinquish what you don't need anymore, and request. Request. Put out there and, you know, really put, think about what it is you do need, what you do want. But we have a six. The numbers do have a lot of energy, too. Six is the number of man. It is what you put into it. But there we have the six of cups. And again, fluid, emotional. This has a lot of remembrance. This, ha this a lot of times is nostalgic. This is kind of looking back at the sweeter and kinder days. Now, the thing about sweeter and kinder days is a lot of times they're not necessarily as sweet or as kind as we remembered them. So we do have to be a little more realistic. So, you know, kind of look at the, so the weekend has this, you know, and again, that has a lot of Pisces and Neptune because Neptune is very dreamy also type of energy. Kind of like, you know, just think about whenever you're in a type of a dream that just feels like it's floating through and you're just trying to grasp the reality of life. This is what I'm picking up with um, the Six of Cups you know, trying to grasp the reality of life. It's, it wants us to think back at that nicer, kinder, which was not always nicer and kinder. Here we go. Next card is, now we have the seven of wands. Now, wands or rods, fire energy. So we have water energy, we have fire energy. This is our Leo, Sagittarius, but it's our Aries. We are in Aries season. Now, seven, divine guidance, divine number, divine umbrella, sometimes divine interference. This is kind of like there's a little bit of a struggle. It's not a horrible struggle. It's not like, you know, somebody's being really attacked. It's more or less kind of a, hey, I'm not letting you come here. I'm, so there is a little bit of a struggle energy here. I'm not letting you take my hill. You know, if you played, uh, what is it, you know, king of the hill as a child, you know, this is defending your energies, defending your ground, defending who you are, defending where you're at. It's not as harsh as, you know, some of the other cards can be, but it is one of these things that, you know, especially if I'm in my little dreamy world, it can be a little bit hard to kind of, you know, it's that, it's that time, what, I have to wake up now? I, I'm all, I have to wake up and do guard duty now? So this, there is a defense mechanism here. There is a defense energy here. Um, if you look, you know, it does look like, you know, these are lower than them. So they are in, you know, the, whoever this is, is not in a position of power. It does look like this person is, but again, it's defending. Defending what? Defending your, your, your mountain, defending the hill. Next card is, we go back to our cup energy. So this is, you know, this cup, this is a four. Four has stability. It also has leadership. It also has organization. The four of cups is one of those in-between cards. So here we have, you know, oh, I want to, I just want to sleep. I want to dream. I just want to fantasize. I just want that better life. Oh, I'm so tired of defending. I'm so, you know, I, but I, I get up again and I, you know, every day I defend what I have to do. I work hard to do what I, you know, to, to create or to maintain what I have. But then we have the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups is total dissatisfaction. It's the in-between energies. It's like, you know, I, I don't like where I'm at. I don't, I don't know what's going on in that future. I'm not ready to make a change. I just, you know, I'm just going to sit there and pout. I'm not necessarily going to take action because maybe I'm, maybe I'm a little bit on the tired side. But again, dissatisfaction. I don't like where I'm at. Oh, look it, here is this magical being bringing a beautiful little cup. Let's, here, I've got something for you. Eh, not, I don't know that I'm quite ready for you yet either. Maybe I like to stay in my dissatisfaction. Maybe I want to stay. Maybe I just, you know, some people that, um, you know, we just, we just kind of like, no, you know what, I'm going to enjoy pouting. I'm going to enjoy being angry. I'm just going to, I'm not moving. I'm not moving. So there's, there's this thinking back remembering, 
you know, always feeling like you've got to um, struggle to maintain. And at the same time, there's a personal choice here. There's a personal choice with this cup, with the Four of Cups saying, I am not ready to move on. I am not ready to, I am, I want it back. I want it, I want it this way. I want it, I want it, I want it. Pout, pout, pout. So let's see what we have with the good tarot, the good tarot cards. Here we are. And let's see, shuffle one more time. There we go. We're going to look at this. The Ace of Air. So Aces, new beginnings, new starts. That's a one. Air energy is our Libra energy. It is our Aquarius. It is our Gemini thought processes. Um, you know, making new plans, hearing something different. This is changing up our thoughts. This is change. It can be a little bit challenging, especially if our emotions are saying, I don't want to move. Um, you know, and then we have this kind of like, well, it's just been hard enough to maintain where I'm at. How do you tell me to have a, you know, to have a different view? How do you tell me to think differently? But it does have a different energy to it. It does have new ideas to it. It does have a new challenge to it. And the challenge can be something exciting. It can be something that we hear. Um, you know, there is that um, hearing energy. I do feel like I need to pull another card out. Let's see. Let's see what it is. That can be a little world. So we have a 21. A 21. So we have the 1, 2, 1. So here we have the 6, 7, 4 energy. We have the 1, 2, 1. World energy is the um, is our major arcana. Um, it is the you know kind of the end of the road. It's kind of the hey you know you've done a really great job. Now let's kind of either rest or let's kind of um, spread the joy, spread the news energy here. So there is something from and, and it's also from number one to the um, you know to twenty one. And the world, again, major arcana, very strong earth, I mean, worldly, universal, godly, um, higher power type of energy saying, you know, have hope. You've done what you needed to do. There's more coming at the same time. You might need to, you might need to rest at the same time. You might need to help others also. So there is some interesting energy this weekend. Again, I'm going to go a lot with this. Not really wanting to make some changes, but you feel like you're always fighting. And then we get these saying, yeah, you can't stay where you're at. You can't stay where you're at. You have to change some of your thoughts. You have to get to a sense of completion so that you can move on, so that you can have more to come. And the world also brings kind of like, to me, it's like after, after you know, the journey of the major arcana, it's kind of saying there's more out there too. But you have to get to that point. Interesting. Let me know what you think about this because it's um, it's always interesting energies. Okay, so remember to, please remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. We need to get the videos out more. Um, you know, you help keep me on air and when I say that, really you do. I, uh, you know, I, I, I am monetized through YouTube, so I want to try to build that up. And as always, you know, I don't like talking about that, but, you know, I do need to have that grow. I do need to have that grow. So if you could, if you could please share the videos with at least one person, I would really appreciate it. Another thing that I know that a lot of my people do, a lot of my subscribers, they put the playlist on, they go walk away, and they let it run. Anyway, not saying you should do that, but not saying you shouldn't either. Okay, so anyway, like Share, subscribe, click on the bell. As always, though, I will be starting my videos now. And hello to my Pisces. Pisces, this is pretty big energy. I mean, Neptune, um, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, all in Pisces. So, whew, interesting stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. I am hoping that there is some adventure, but there's some calming energy. I hope there's good luck. I hope there's spiritualism. There's lots of stuff happening for you, my Pisces, in the skies at least. Okay, oops. 
And there we go. The Ace of Fire is already popping out. You can't quite see it yet until I put another card next to it. But an Ace is a one, new beginning, new start. Fire, Leo, Sagittarius, but it's Aries energy. We still are in Aries, okay? Passionate, burning, determined, very, very committed. Now, the thing about Aries, well, the thing about fire energy, the Ace of Fire, this is a new opportunity. This is something that's like a new possibility, a new opportunity. And well, I said that already, but this is something that really interests you. It gets you excited. It's not just, um, you know, it's not just something that's, um, I don't know, that's floating around in your thoughts. This is something that's tangible, but at the same time, it is something you want to go after. Okay, so anyway, Ace of Fire, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, to change your life now. So the Ace of Fire actually has life-changing um, energy all around it, but it's bringing you to a much better place. I don't know. What are you going to do? Are you going to just, you know, are you not, are you going to let it pass you by? Are you going to go after it? Interesting. Let's see. Your choices. We all have choices. It may not be time. Kind of feels like it might be. Next card is the Knight of Air. So Knight's underlying energy is fire, but air energy is our Libra, Libra full moon, Gemini, Aquarius, you know, Saturn's in Aquarius. Oh. Anyway, thought processes, hearing news, making plans. The night of air. Nights are directional, so they go where they need to go. But the night of air means, you know, it's like rushing into something. It's like saying, no, clear the way, clear the way. Because with the night of air, there are some challenges. There are some stuff that you have to, some hurdles you have to jump over. But it happens very quickly. It's very fast. It's like, no, clear, clear the way, clear the way, clear the way. Again, we have the Libra full moon, so it's a good moon for you to use to clear the way, to clear the passage. It's like things start to fall into place the way they need to fall into place between the Ace of Fire and the Knight of Air. But you do have to do some work. You have to think things through. You cannot just, you know, just sit. You can't just procrastinate, okay? Intelligent, decisive, idealistic, tireless. And remember, I've talked about um, how with Jupiter in um, Pisces, that this is a time for, you know, for you to dream your dreams and make your plans. And then when it, Jupiter goes into Aries, it's going to be the time to implement. Um, this is you actually bringing your plans to fruition. This is you bringing, this is you, between the two of them, this is seeing your plans actually come maybe to life. Events that occur with great speed, take time to carefully review your options creative solutions. Your last card here is the Ace of Earth. So this is money, job, career. Ace, again, that one energy. Earth energy is, again, our Capricorn, our Taurus. So right around the corner is Taurus energy. It's also our Virgo, money, job, career energy, money coming in, unexpected money coming in, new job, new career, new options, new passion, money coming in. Shall we say that? But it happens quickly. It happens quickly. You have to be ready for the change. Okay. The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. So you have a 1-1 one, one energy right there. Really, you know, all this positive stuff happening. Are you starting a new business and all of a sudden you find, you know, if it's a brick and mortar, you find where you wanted to put it. Uh, is the is something that you've been just thinking about already coming to, you know, all of a sudden it's like right there in front of your face. The thing about the night of air, it means it's going to happen quickly. It's going to be happen quickly. Be prepared. Be prepared for some big, big positive changes. Okay, next card. Oh, here we are. This one, it's only the one. Seven. So now we have a one, one, seven, seven, one, one. Seven is our divine number, divine opportunity, divine umbrella, as I like to call it, um, divine intervention, but sometimes divine interference. The crown chakra, so there are seven chakra systems that are talked about the most. There's more chakras around, but the seventh is your crown chakra, is that connection with higher power. Now, I'm going to call it more higher power than universe, because universe is big, you know, universe, I like to think of higher power because it's like it's it's more pinpointed. So I'm going to say this is your connection. This is those 
like those escalators in the airports. One goes up, one goes down. You know, this is like all this type of um, divine type of energy. So this could be very much prayers answered, wishes that you've been want, wishing for. This is again one of those, this could be the aftermath of that Jupiter and Neptune conjunction. Um, you know, this is what you've been putting out. And, you know, I always say, so please, my my Pisces, please stay positive. No buts. Just say, you know, this could be the time. This could, this is the time. This is the time. This is the time. No buts. Okay? If you've been following me for a while, you know what I'm talking about with this. My Pisces, I, you know, I always believe, because I'm married to a Pisces, my brother's a Pisces, whatever you put your mind to does happen. I've seen you manifest and then I've also seen you like throw a little, but maybe not today. Maybe not. It's like, stop it. Stop it already. Connect with your higher power, especially during this time. Okay. Let's see what crystal or energy we have that would be helpful for my Pisces. Here we go. Oh, and my niece. My niece is a Pisces. And I mean, and she's been, she's done remarkable things. I mean, basically it's all been if she, you know, I have a couple of nieces that are Pisces, and they put it out there, and it's like, you know, I want it, it happens. Okay, reversed, smoky quartz. Dispels negative energy, always good. Home protection, always good. Earth connection, achieving career success. So if you don't have some smoky quartz, maybe go and get yourself some. So big weekend, big weekend. Uh, like I said, um, lots of positivity, lots of prayers, answers, prayers, uh, lots of put it to your higher power. Remember, the full moon is a time to release what's holding you back, relinquish what you don't need anymore, and request the good stuff. So release, relinquish, request. Okay. Anyway, my Pisces, take a moment to like, share, subscribe, click on that bell for notifications. Please, as I asked in the introduction, please share this with at least one person, the playlist or the videos. It would help. It would help. And I would appreciate it so much. But thank you anyway. As always, my Pisces, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.